Children with diabetes have many responsibilities, such as carbohydrate counting. Carbohydrate counting helps balance food intake with insulin. This helps manage blood glucose levels. So here's the scoop. Foods have three main nutrients, protein, fat, and carbohydrate. Carbohydrates break down in the body and raise blood glucose levels. People with diabetes count carbohydrates so they can follow their insulin management plan. This helps keep blood glucose levels within their target range. So what foods do I have to count and which ones have carbohydrates? Some foods contain carbohydrates, other foods are called free because they contain little or no carbohydrate. Let's start with free foods. A free food has less than 5 grams of carbohydrate per serving. The free foods include the protein group, which includes meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and cheeses. The fat group, that includes butter, oil, nuts, and shortening. Non-starchy vegetables, such as carrots, green beans, tomatoes, and broccoli, contain very little carbohydrate and spices and most condiments are considered free. Some free foods contain small amounts of carbohydrate. Eating large amounts of these foods can affect blood glucose levels. Some items to be aware of are ketchup, barbecue sauce, sweet and sour sauce, honey mustard, and low-fat salad dressings. Remember that even though these foods are free from carbohydrate, they still contain fat and calories. So which food groups contain carbohydrates? The first group is starches and grains. Some foods included in this group are bread, pasta, cereal, crackers, and tortillas. This group also includes starchy vegetables, dry beans, corn, peas, and potatoes. Fruit and juices also contain carbohydrate. Fresh, frozen, dried, and canned fruits are all included in this group. Milk and yogurt are the next carbohydrate group. And most people think that people with diabetes cannot have sugar in their diet. However, you can eat sweets and desserts in moderation as long as you count the amount of carbohydrate in them into your insulin management plan. A lot of people, you know, think that because I'm diabetic I can't eat, like, sugar, you know, like, sweet things like that, but I, I just have to, like, take care, like, not to eat too much of something or, you know, something like that. I don't drink a lot of, like, regular sodas, like sweet tea. I don't do a lot of that because I feel like it's wasted carbs. I try to explain to people, like, I can eat whatever I want as long as I get insulin for it. So I try to eat healthy just because that's good for you. But, I mean, like, I can have a cupcake and get insulin for it and be okay. So now that I know which foods have carbohydrates, how do I count them? Knowing that one carbohydrate serving or choice is equal to 15 grams of carbohydrate is a great place to start. Some basic serving sizes that are equal to 15 grams are one slice of bread, half cup of corn, peas, or mashed potatoes, one third cup of cooked rice or pasta, one half cup of juice, one cup of milk, one half cup of vanilla ice cream, and one baseball-sized apple or orange. Remember to use measuring cups for accurate carbohydrate counting. The nutrition fact label is one of the best places to look for the carbohydrate content. You can find labels on most packaged food products. There is a lot of information on this label. You only need to look at serving size and total carbohydrates to determine the amount of carbs in a food product. Serving size is important because the food label lists all nutrients based on one serving of the food. The total carbohydrates is used for your insulin dose. Do not look at dietary fiber, sugar, sugar alcohols, or other carbohydrates when determining carbs in a food. These nutrients are a part of the total carbohydrate value. 
only read the serving size and total carbohydrates value for your insulin dose. Also, sugar-free does not mean carbohydrate-free. If you look at the label, many sugar-free foods have a similar number of carbohydrates as the regular food. When eating away from home, such as at a restaurant or a friend's house, nutrition labels are not always available. Using other resources such as fast food guides, carb counting handbooks, and restaurant websites can be useful. Okay, I think I get it. Can we practice? Sure. Let's look at these meals. Here's the first meal. A hamburger, chips, cake, and a soda. First, let's identify the carbohydrates in this meal. The bun on the hamburger, the potato chips, and the cake are all carbohydrate foods. The ketchup should also be considered. There is a small amount of carbohydrate in ketchup and it can add up if you eat a lot at one time. The lettuce, cheese, mustard, meat patty, and diet soda are free foods in this meal. Looking in a carb counting food guide can help you figure out the carbs in this meal. This is a large hamburger bun that has 45 grams of carb in it. There are about two ounces of chips on the plate that are 30 grams, and the large slice of cake has 60 grams of carb in it. And about three tablespoons of ketchup has about nine grams of carb in it. That is a total of 144 grams of carbohydrates in this meal. Now try this meal. Spaghetti with meatballs and tomato sauce, a roll, banana, and a bottle of water. The carbohydrates in this meal are the pasta, roll, and banana. And don't forget the tomato sauce. It also has some carbohydrate in it. The bottle of water and the meatballs are free items in the meal. To count the carbs, this is about one cup of pasta, which is 45 grams of carb. We know this because one third cup of cooked pasta is 15 grams of carb. Half a cup of tomato sauce is about 15 grams of carbohydrate. And the one ounce roll is 15 grams of carbohydrate. The banana is a small banana and about 15 grams of carbohydrate. The total amount of carbohydrate in this meal is 90 grams. Do you think you got it? I think so. It will take a little practice, though. It will take practice. But always remember to identify which foods are carbohydrates and which foods are free. Use your basic serving sizes and nutrition fact labels to help you measure and count the grams of carbohydrates. And keep updated resources handy, such as food guides, to help when eating outside the home. You'll be counting carbs like a pro in no time.